Hi, uh, on our Business Spotlight uh, program today, I'm with Diane Kelly, and she's the owner of LL Solutions. So over to you, Diane. Um, what do you do and for how long have you been doing it? Hi, Kevin. How are you? Um, my name is Diane. I am the owner of LL Solutions. Uh, together with my husband, Stuart, we, we run it. Um, we look after uh, tenanted properties nationwide, and we have been doing this for over three years, but have both been in the industry for over 25 years. So lots of experience. Fantastic, fantastic. And what makes you stand out from your competition, would you say? Um, well, firstly, we very rarely worry about uh, competitors. Uh, we are very focused on our own business and within, within those perimeters. Part of our original plan on starting this business, um, which would be different from, I guess, other companies that would be similar to us, is <clears throat> we really concentrated on our engineers and trades on the road. Um, we built that up first, okay. and then we built a team around it within the office environment, while a huge amount of companies put a huge amount of emphasis on management and on structure from the company out. While for us, we felt um, for our structure, it was really important and we really concentrated on getting the best team on the road that we could find. And it's worked. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. And again, you know, we're looking after our people has always been important, but even more so now these days, you know, I'd like to get the sense of belonging. Yes. Fantastic. So, I mean, I'm sure you've had loads, but I mean, what, what is your biggest learning since you've been a business owner? Um, within our industry and within what we do, um, we have always found through the years in working in different companies that um, a huge emphasis is not put on staff. So for the industry that we're in, one of my biggest learning curves over the last three years is looking after the team we surround ourselves with, um, keeping them happy making sure that they're motivated and, and feel appreciated. So I guess from a learning perspective for me, that became very important and something that I may not have fully realized the importance of previous to owning my own company. All right, okay, interesting, very interesting. Yeah, and it's, it's very topical these days, you know. Yes. Um, <clears throat> so the next one is, as I suppose, how do you see your business developing over the next five years? Um, it's very difficult with, with what we're, I suppose, what we're into. Um, we grow, we, we've grown every month since the day we started. Uh, we started wow. off with three people and we now have 25 and that's three years ago. Um, every day can be a challenge. We, we, we take on new clients and we turn away clients. Uh, we're very specific on who we work for. Okay. And yeah, we're, we're in a very, very lucky position. Um, so over the next five years, we... Possibly we'll open maybe a few more offices within the city city areas. Um, we probably maybe Cork, Galway, those areas more so than up the other end of the country. Um, mm -hmm. Because this is where we're based. This is where we know and this is what we like, even though we do offer a full nationwide service. We may go down other roles in regards to obviously we see issues down the road with the trades um, because so many people are going to college now, which is fabulous. Um, but we still need trades. We, we need our young people to, to. So that's something we'll have to look into over the next four or five years um, in regards to apprenticeship programs and everything like that to bring them in within the industry. We're just a little bit young as a company yet to be able to introduce that fully. But it's certainly out there. We also have a few different things happening even later this year where we have a few separate companies opening up that will be under the umbrella of LL Solutions. But uh, I, I guess a slightly different perspective, but I, I can't give all that away today, so we'll have to hold out for that. <laughs> okay, well, well, we'll we'll wait to see what that is. Yeah, with, with, yeah. Uh, with anticipation there, fantastic, Diane. And uh, <clears throat> and so what? Well, you've kind of touched on it now, but what what is the latest news about your business? Um, we we I I guess we. we we don't ever give too many surprises. Um, we are a very consistent company that carries on regardless, um, whether warnings or anything else, we're, we're still out there. Um, wow. We do a constant 24 hour seven service. So again, that might be something, that's something we always are looking into. And maybe this year we'll, we'll definitely go down that route a bit more where we maybe offer more reactive works to that degree or emergency call outs. Um, 
I suppose from that side, we, we don't necessarily have any uh, specific news to that degree, except that we keep adding every day and uh, keep getting a little bit better, hopefully. Fantastic. And what would you what would you say is the biggest issues or challenges that you you have overcome with, as, as a business owner? Um, I suppose there has been times, I, I guess everybody within this industry will say the same thing, and I know I touched on it earlier as well, which would be... Um, the, the trades coming through, it's, it's we, we, you know, you're always looking for good people that will fit into your company and that you can offer them a good work environment. So I suppose that's one thing, which is finding finding a team all the time is, is, is we don't have any problem keeping them. It's, it's we, we need to get them first though. Um, so we have overcome those issues by going down different ways. And obviously we over, we, we opened our company bang in the middle of COVID. Right. So that was, that was 100% the, the, our biggest challenge at that time was um, trying to sustain and get a business started and off the ground in the middle of a global pandemic. Um, probably not the, the wisest time, but um, we overcame that and we're still going. So I, 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 I'm, I'm proud of us for that. Yeah. Fantastic. That, you know, that's, that, that, that's, that's inspiring. And again, I suppose I'm asking you, I suppose, what is the most inspiring to you today? I mean, it's a broad question, I know, but what, what it could be a load of things, but what, what is well, most well, I, I, can, I can give a very, a very simple answer on that. Uh, I walked in our office door this morning at uh, 6 a.m. And as I did, about three foot of water gushed out against me. Um, no. <laughs> which, so we, we, we ourselves who, who do these things every day um, had a burst pipe on our ground floor this morning. And uh, we have a, a group WhatsApp with all of our team on it. And uh, I, I put a little message up saying, I need help. And uh, I had eight people surrounding me within 14 minutes of sending that message. So I was quite inspired to have such an amazing team around me that landed over here at 6 a.m. this morning to help us out. So I, I, I can't be much more inspired than that. <laughs> Fantastic. I hope that I hope it's all sorted out now. Yeah, it is. It is. We're very quick movers. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. OK. Yeah. Um, and what are, what are the biggest challenges you're facing in your business now? I mean, you mentioned about getting the people and the trades and that sort of thing. And is, is that the only one or does there more, do you think? Um, I guess there's always challenges like we 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 are very much um, a personal company and we keep it that way uh, from top to bottom. And so I suppose with the housing crisis in Ireland and all these different things that are going on, even though they don't directly affect us, um, our roles every day are to make properties safe and to ensure they're compliant uh, in that order. Safe is, is important, is the most important thing for us, for tenants and occupants and everything else. And then the other side of the coin is obviously they have to be fully compliant. Um, every day those bring in challenges um, you know, each organization has different regulations, all within safety bounds, which is the most important. Um, so I guess at times regulations change very fast. So we are constantly updating ourselves and making sure we're educated on everything that is needed. And then obviously we have, you know, the, the right team on the road. We must make sure that all our crew are you know, even the basic things, guard vetted, ensure everybody is safe, if, you know, we vans on the road, uh, health and safety. So all of these things bring up their own challenges every single day. Um, but, you know, we, 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 we work on them daily, we're consistent. And I guess that those challenges won't ever change. They'll always be there for us. Okay. We're concerned about recessions and different things that are out there coming we see no change. We're still moving. We're staying positive. Everything looks good from our side. So we don't get too involved in that either. But <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, I know. I know a lot of work we do with business. You know, you can focus on the things you can manage, which is yes. you know, your own business, you know, and your own people. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Brilliant. And I suppose, what, what do you see are the biggest opportunities for your industry, I suppose, over the next five years for your business and for your industry, I suppose? Yeah. Um, <laughs> For us, as we see the country change um, towards the housing and um, because that's our that's our primary business at the moment, which is um, tenanted and occupied ultimately properties. Um, I think I think I think for us, as we see the changes coming along where, you know, 10 years ago, it wasn't as important that every house had smoke alarms and 
all these different things. So, you know, we like to see these regulations come in from a safety perspective. Um, I feel that they will keep evolving. I feel that units will keep, these things will all keep changing each year for us. Um, we are developing with it. We keep moving with it as a company. We have to keep expanding, you know, we, we something as basic as, you know, the country is full of oil and uh, gas boilers down country and you know this year we're seeing a massive change where a huge percentage are moving over to air to water so these small things develop along so something that wasn't important two years ago which would be a pump specialist or you know somebody for these trades was not as important because we didn't have those units now is hugely important where we so do we find people that are specified or do we train who we have so i guess we're we're right now in the middle of a transition where we're training a huge amount of our team to work on all the new things that are coming along each day and um, so that's that's where where we keep moving to i suppose every year we keep evolving as as it as it moves along fantastic diane listen it's been great talking to you today and um i'm sure our our, our uh or people viewing this will can learn a bit from what your, your uh, experiences. So listen, that's great. Thanks again. Thanks, Kevin.